Hey everybody, Jewel Mayberry back again, continuing our Sinistry series, and we're concentrating on um, talking about one person's son in another person's fourth house. So this is um, a Sinistry series where we're, we talk about um, chart comparisons. So one person's birth chart compared to another per person's birth chart, and what that's like, what that what that causes. Um, so, the sun in synastry is um, really what one person, you know, th the, uh, the warmth that they bring to another. It's, you know, one person's ego um, represents authority and um, our vitality, our energy, our um, amb ambitions. Um, our, uh, you know, outward thrust of personality and, um, you know, a lot of our, our light and our soul is about our sun. Um, it's not, you know, really the thinking or the emotions. That's the job of the moon. We're just talking about the sun here. So it's really about ego and expression. And um, the fourth house is the house of home, intimacy. Um, it's... Um, you know, the, the darkest part of the chart. It's the, the most intimate part of ourselves and uh, represents the mother, nourishment. And uh, when another person's planet, whatever planet that is, comes into the fourth house, this is a very, very intimate placement in synastry. Uh, this is one of the placements that I like to see the most. Um, you know, either the sun or the moon or Venus coming into another person's fourth house is very binding. Um, the sun really lights up another person's house. So it's lighting up another person's um, house of domestic activities, the house of home, the house of uh, very personal intimate things. So when one person's ego and expression and drive and light and warmth, which is their sun, falls into another person's fourth house when you put two charts together um the fourth house person is very very stimulated in a domestic way by the house by the sun person uh the fourth house person wants very much to settle down and um, enjoy the sun's energy in a domestic environment. So this is a great, great placement for parent and child and for um, romantic partners as well, for marriage partners. This is one of the best placements that you can look for. Um, the sun person um, brings a lot of nourishment to the fourth house. Uh, the fourth house feels very filled up and they feel very familiar with the sun. There's of, often a very uh, thick feeling of having known that sun person before. This is a karmic placement. Um, somebody's sun or moon in the fourth house or Saturn as well or north node. Um, so it's, uh, it's a placement that, you know, causes the fourth house person to, you know, just feel like they know and have always known the sun person. A uh, great feeling of familiarity and um, often indicates, you know, past uh, family ties along with other things. Um, so the sun person, you know, feels very comfortable with the fourth house person and feels very much like they can express their intimate self. They feel like um, they're accepted by the fourth house person, understood, and that they can reveal um, really. Um, close and uh, intimate and vulnerable parts of themselves. They can be vulnerable um, in the house of, of uh, in the fourth house of another person because um, you know the fourth house person is also um, experiencing this vulnerability and, and they're very much their vulnerabilities are very much soothed by the sun person. The sun person's vulnerabilities are very much exposed to the house person. So um, it's a fabulous placement. Um, it, it, it really provides a feeling of, um, of being family. And um, the fourth house person can often feel that the, the sun person is family. 
um, right upon meeting him. I mean, these are fast friends when um, somebody's son comes into your fourth. So, hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back very soon with partner son in another partner's fifth house. And you can find me on um, the web at truthinaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth in Aspect Astrology. And um, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.